this brief seminar shows you how to create a Google form and embed it into your Lions eClubhouse website. As you can see, I've already created a page for that form. I've even gone in to edit that page. I haven't even created the form yet. Don't forget, Lions eClubhouse times out if you don't make changes for too long a time before hitting Submit. So I'll be very quick at creating a new form. I already have a Google Forms account, and I'll just click on Start a New Form. I prepared myself ahead of time, so I already have the text I want for the form, and I'm just pasting that in. I'm just going to make a simple form that asks for the name, the uh, email address, and uh, a question that you're, someone would want to ask your Lions Club. I picked a short answer for the name. I'm looking for the email address. Next, that's, so that's what it's going to be. That's also going to be a short answer. Okay, and then I'll add another plus sign. And the thing will ask, you know, what is the question? Very simple. And this will be a paragraph answer, so it'll be a little bit longer. Okay, now this will be, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. So that's basically the simple thing. Responses will go to a database awaiting responses. Many of the settings are just fine. I'm going to go over to this section. I'm going to create a, a um, simple confirmation page. None of these other questions are uh, settings are required for this type of question. I'm just going to say thank you for contacting us. So it's very, very simple. So the, create, the form is now created. If I go to the response section, um, this doesn't show how that works yet. I'm just simply going to go back here, okay, and then I'm going to open it again. And now there's a little running man down here to open up the, the old form in the actual Google Forms editor. Simply, so this is the full editor of Google Docs. That's how you get into it, that little running man. None of these options are required. I'm just going to go to the File menu. I'm going to create Embed. So this is what I have to paste into my website. I want to make the width, though, only 500 pixels wide. And I think that the length, the height, the height and width can all be 500. And this is the code that's created. So I'll just triple click on it, or double click on it, and then use copy, and then say done. Now I can go into the Watertown Lions Club page. I'm going to go in the source section, right click, paste. That's the code I need, and you can see the 500 is right there. I'm going to go preview, and then publish. Now when I go to the Watertown Lions Club page, I'm going to hit refresh. Here's the contact form. I'm going to just say, uh, I'm going to send in a question. I'm going to use uh, dan at lionnet.com. And then I'm going to post a silly question just to test it out. All right. Now, they will have to scroll down to where the submit button is. And there you go. See? Thank you for contacting us. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the form. I'm going to go to the response section. Okay. Mm, view responses. And there it is. See, I have the answer already in Google Docs. I did not set this up to send me an email or anything of that nature. I just wanted it very simple. I do have to manually look for my responses 
as they come in by going into Google Docs and opening up this table. That's it, the, the quick and short of it.